Good evening and thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with a near disaster at Canada's busiest airport. A maintenance van rolled across an active runway just as an Air Canada flight with 72 passengers and crew on board was about to land. The Transportation Safety Board calls it a very close call. They say the plane could have come within about 50 feet of hitting the van. Christina Stevens is at Pearson Airport with the details tonight. Christina. Donna, the Transportation Safety Board is investigating this near miss, trying to figure out not just how a driverless van managed to roll across an active runway, but also why the pilot failed to abort the landing, despite being told to do so twice by air traffic control. The close call involved a plane like this one, an Embraer 190 operated by Air Canada. It was coming in from Edmonton late Monday night. Around the same time, a van was driven by a maintenance worker to a Sunwing plane at gate H16. Work was being done on the plane when the van rolled away on its own toward the runway while flight 178 was about three quarters of a nautical mile out. The van then crossed the runway while the plane was about 50 feet in the air, passing directly over the vehicle. So if you consider the, the van is then of course seven or so feet tall, it's less than 50 feet uh, separation at that airspeed at that time of night. It's very serious. A Transport Canada report says the flight crew was instructed twice to pull up and go around. However, the aircraft continued and landed on runway 24R without incident. And then the, uh, the, the crew stated afterwards that uh, they didn't think it was for them. Call. In this case, the, uh, the instruction was fairly clear, at least in initial interpretation. Experts say it can be very busy on the radio while approaching Pearson Airport. There's a lot of chatter, uh, but again, why was it they missed it perhaps the first time, but missed it the second time? Air Canada says in a statement, we are unable to comment as an investigation is underway. We are cooperating fully with the TSB because safety is always our paramount concern. As for how the van, which was running and in gear, got there in the first place, Sunwing says they're investigating. We have procedures, we, you know, we have policies in place around the vehicles and the vans around the aircraft, and uh, we'll make sure that the procedures are followed. The Transportation Safety Board says the investigation will take months to complete. Donna? All right, Christina Stevens at Pearson Airport, thank you.